Hey guys, it's me, False Art Has One here, and I hope you guys had a spectacular Halloween. Anyways, today I'll be doing a book review because it's been a while, and plus I just finished this awesome book that I've been wanting to show you guys for a long time now. So, let's get started. So the book I'll be reviewing today is a book called Inkheart. I love the art. It is just incredible. I love how the hand is just like looking so real. I mean, look how real that looks. And it just pops out and the coins are just like, looks like it's flying at you. Lizard is popping out major time and it's just really good. I love the art. It's just undescribable. So whoever did this, you're an amazing artist. So... Uh, Technically, this book is about this guy named Mo and his daughter named Maggie. One night, Maggie was trying to go to sleep, but she couldn't, so she was trying to put on candles so she can read a book. She noticed that a guy was staring at her beneath all that rain that was covering up her window, and she saw him, weirdly, staring at her just dead, just like dead straight like this. So, uh... Maggie addresses him to her father, Mo, a famous bookbinder or a famous book doctor, as Maggie refers to Mo. So apparently, Dustfinger is a friend of Mo's. In Dustfinger's case, he calls Mo Silvertongue, and you'll find out why in the book later on. So technically, Dustfinger tells Silver Tongue about Capricorn, who is an evil, heartless man, technically a villain, who is just dead horrible and just has no heart or soul. He tells him that he's back and he's just trying to ruin everything and trying to burn a lot of books. So, uh, he just technically wants this one book. No other books, no exceptions, no questions, no buts. He just wants the book. And apparently Mo has a copy of the book. So they decided to go, I think, to Italy, up south, down south, or north, I don't know. But they go to Italy to go to Aunt Eleanor's house, who is Maggie's mother's aunt. So I'm not going to go into full that's what happens at Eleanor's house, but something happened and... That's when the whole story began officially. So that's technically my own summary. I have nothing that I'm reading off. I'm just basing it off what I've read in Inkheart and it's just so good. And if you're wondering if you can read this book, this book is, I guess, from 6th to 8th grade reading level, I would suggest. But if you're in 5th grade and you want to give this a swing, then you can if you want, I'm not going to stop you, it's just my own opinion. There's curse words in it, like, a lot, especially by Eleanor, so just for you to know, and also what other characters in the book. So if you don't like curse words, then you shouldn't read this book, but I'm not going to stop you, and high schoolers can read this book if they want to, so yeah. So if I had to rate this book... I just almost fell. I all guessed it. Anyways, if I had to rate this book, I would give it a 10 out of 10 because this book is just incredible and I just love it. So this is actually the first book to the Inkheart trilogy and I'll show you the book I'm currently on and then the last book in the series. So Ink Spell is the second book in Inkheart and this book is really good so far. And I'm currently on page, I'm not going to show you, if you have not read this book, the text, I'm on page 51. So here's Ink Death, the final and just stunning conclusion to the best-selling Ink Heart trilogy. And this looks really good, actually. I just love the art. Also on Ink Spell, it looks really cool. But this one's my favorite piece of art where I just like how they just put all that in the shape of a skull. Skull, and you can see how it is a skull, and it looks really intriguing. So, whoever done art, 
is really good at this. And Cornelia is a really good writer. She's one of my favorite authors at the moment, so yeah. So, 10 out of 10, again, so... I suggest you guys go read this book, and it's just really incredible. It does take some time to read because it's huge, and other books are huge as well. But if you just, like, read it fast like I do, then it won't be any problem at all. But, yeah. Comment down which books you want me to read next and review. Bye, guys.